Okay, let's go to London, mate. We're up at Tlenrimni again and the council has done virtually nothing about the dam and the, the general problems with the, the state of the flats. So we've got a couple of proposals to make to residents and we'll see how we get on. The thing is that these people are paying rent and it's not cheap and the, the service they get in, I mean, it's, it's not good enough. It's shocking actually. The, the residents in there have become ill because of the, the dam. So I'm looking at getting a, a legal firm involved and seeing if we can do a class action against the council based on their medical record. Down in the okay. yeah. She's quite um, suicide. Oh, She's dog's here again. Herself. How's it been over lockdown? Horrendous. Yeah, I, I was stuck in for 11 weeks. Couldn't go out. Chloe would come out by the front with baby and his son. And I would stand by my door and that would be it. Usually to take my mind off stuff, I like to just get it and go out so I'm not stuck in the flat looking at or smelling the smell or just like I just go around like find more stuff every time I like like I find more damp patches or I like smell the damp smell and then I go searching. So I really like to get out but being stuck in there it was just it took a really a big toll on my mental health. Gone right down. These people here have pride in where they live. And the unfortunate thing is, the council doesn't. Council didn't get back to us. When was the last time they got back to you? Well, we sent emails to me about the maggots. Yeah. And they have come out and they have done a cleansing up there. But nothing. No letters, no email back, not even a phone call, nothing. So you've got, you got maggots in the property now? Oh my god, outside. Thousands. Thousands. Outside. Coming yeah. from the big yeah. area, they were horrendous up there. Yeah. They're bigger than him than Oh yeah. Oh my god, spread. And that's the only patch of grass. They left it like this in lockdown, yeah? Yeah, and we told them that they'd been back out since. How many times have they come here? Um I mean I cannot remember the last time they came out and put it. And I've got a one-year-old and I can't even leave her to play because if she falls on them, they're double stingies. Okay, so this is the, the green area at the back of the flats where residents supposedly during lockdown were able to spend time. Look at the state of it. Nettles everywhere. You, there's no way children can play on this because they get like stunned to hell, wouldn't they? Yeah. Lovely nice secret area to look at the nettles. Okay, so yeah, so you've got a, a perfect secret area. Nettles. What have you? You may not be able to see it much, or you may not be able to see it, see it too well on the video, but there's a structural concern here with, with the walls. I mean, this seems to be coming forward slightly here. There's a... Is this gap getting wider, you said? Yeah, it's all getting wider. So that the wall is actually moving, which it's a, it's a concern. The, so what, what we could do is we could look into setting up a resident association so the council have to council will have to directly liaise with you. Yeah. If we elect the person to be the representative, so they would have to listen to you. You can elect the spokesperson. Just had a, just had a really good meeting with the, the residents there in, uh, in, in the block and I just really feel for them. I mean, they deserve to be treated a lot better. The council tenants, they pay their rate, pay their rents and they get very little back for it. The, the, the back garden's a disgrace. There's young kids there, and there's just a, a little green patch where well, they could be, the young ones could be kicking a ball on, and it's just full of bloody nettles. Um, so, we've had a good chat, and the residents, are gonna, they're gonna take matters into their own, their own hands now, form a residents association, and speak up for themselves. They, they've been let down by the Labour councillors in this area. So they're going to form an association and then the council will have to deal with them directly if they elect their, their spokesperson.